and it actually sold the same day within just two hours of having it listed for $60. And they sold within just, I mean, a couple hours for $50. And they actually ended up selling for $40 within the same day of being listed. Hey friends. So as always, I'm gonna take you guys sourcing with me today. We're gonna to go find treasures to sell online and I sell on both eBay and Poshmark. And I'm excited to see what we find today. I did wanna mention that stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna show you a little tour of my office space and then I'm also gonna have you guys ship out some stuff with me today. All right, let's go. So as always, I went straight to the shoes where I found a pair of Ariat boots and these are a pair of men's work boots. They're also steel toed, they're Chelsea style and these were pretty beaten up. You could definitely tell that somebody bought these and they used them for work, which is what they're for. That didn't really deter me from picking these up just because they had a really good sell through rate and they were, I think originally $180 around that price point. And so I knew that somebody was still gonna want these and they weren't gonna wear them just for like a fashion statement. They were gonna wear them for work and I'm happy I did pick them up for $10 I ended up listing them yesterday and they sold within just, I mean, a couple hours for $50. I was really excited about that pickup and that sale. Then I was able to find these Bowdoin loafers. They are a multicolor. They kind of have like a tapestry print on them. Just a perfect pair of shoes for summertime and springtime. I could see somebody wearing these to Italy or on vacation and they're just so fun. I looked up comps. They were performing really well. I think I should be able to sell these for around 40 to $45. They're honestly in really great condition. The bottom of them still has like the little sticker. I ended up paying $7 for these. I think they should do really well. They're super cute. Originally, I picked up these North Face boots for my husband because he doesn't have any snow boots and we live in a place that gets snow. But when he put them on, they just had so much insulation that they didn't fit. And so I'm actually gonna sell these. They're in really great condition. I mean, the tread looks perfect. It doesn't even really look like they've been worn before. And when I looked up comps, I am expecting to get about $80 for these. Yeah, my husband always complains and says that I don't pick him stuff up. You guys are my witness. I, I feel like I'm constantly saying, this is for my husband, or I got this for my husband. I did get this for him, but he didn't want it, so. These are a really nice pair of OnCloud sneakers, which I do really like to find this brand. It's very expensive and well-known. And these were a really cool pair of like green ones. They're kind of like the off-trail ones as well, which is a very popular style from them. And these were a little dirty. You could definitely tell that they were pre-owned. I still did pick them up. I typically don't like to pick up dirty shoes or shoes that I feel like will have any extra work added into them just because I like to create my workflow so that it's like a minimum amount of friction. So if I have to do any extra steps for an item, that just makes it so I'm less likely to actually get that item listed. But I didn't clean these ones. I just picked them up and then just listed them as is. And they actually end up selling for $40 within the same day of being listed. So for the most part, anytime I find these five-toed shoes, I do pick them up. They're just very popular. They sell for a good amount of money and really quick for me, especially during summertime. But these are really nice for like hiking or trail running or even like water sports outside. And these are from the brand Vibran. I've sold a pair similar to this last year and they sold for $50 within just like a couple weeks. So those ones were brand new, but I'm gonna list these for around 40 to $45. So I typically don't pick up Adidas shoes, but I did get these ones just because they looked really nice. And so in the store, I took a picture of them and then Google Lens them to see what they were selling for on Poshmark and eBay. And they were going for around 45 to $50 and I only paid $7. So I feel like this was a pretty good pickup. So I do find Chacos pretty often, but I don't typically pick up all the stuff that I find from them just because they can be really worn. And sometimes the thrift store that I go to marks them up pretty high. So these ones are only marked up $7, which I was happy to see. They're in pretty good condition. And I feel like these should sell really well during summertime. They're definitely known for like outdoors and hiking sandals. And I'm gonna price mine at $40. So when it comes to Nike, I am pretty selective. It's not a brand that I typically pick up unless it's like the Nike Tech or some really unique shoes because I do know that some of their stuff goes for a lot of money. But these were unique and so I did Google Lens these just like I did with the Adidas sneakers. And this particular style was performing really well and they were going for around 50 to $60. And so I did snag these. Then I got some really cute hokas and these are actually in pretty good condition. I find hokas fairly often, but normally they're really beaten up, but I did get these. They only had them marked up to $10 and these should go for around 40 to $45. This is from the brand Picolinos. 
I'm probably not saying that right, I'm sorry, but I instantly knew that these were high quality leather just by looking at them. And so I looked them up and originally these were $190 and these are just a really nice pair of leather, just classic lace up loafers. And I really like the contrasting of the red lace and also the red in the back. And I'm gonna price mine around $75. I saw comps going between $50 to $80, which is a wide range, but for this style, they were performing well. So I'm excited to see how these ones go. Then I was able to find this Lauren Ralph Lauren men's blazer, and this is just a really nice soft corduroy sports coat. And their jackets do perform really well, especially their blazers or their men's pieces from this brand. It also has like the elbow patches. I really like the fact that the inner lining is this novelty dog print. Definitely preppy, academic. I'm gonna list this for $50, and I ended up finding two, both from Lauren Ralph Lauren, and I'm gonna list them each at $50. I do really like to find L.L. Bean jackets. They perform really well. And this one is actually a 1X, which the larger sizes perform even better. This one has like a fleece inner lining and it's one of their winter jackets. I saw comps going for around 60 to $70. Then I found another jacket from L.L. Bean, and this one is one of their rain trench coats. It has the hood, it's the water off material, and I've actually recently just sold this jacket, um, but in a tan color, and that one sold for $70 within like a week or two of having it listed. So I feel like this one should do pretty well. I'm gonna list this one at $60. I really like this jacket. I actually watched somebody put it back on the go back rack and so I ran over there and I snagged it and it's this fleece inner lining denim jacket from Levi's and I love the fact that it has like the studding on it. It has like also stars on it as well and I looked up comps and I should be able to get around $70 for this. I've talked about Cabby before and it is a brand that I am selective with. Some of their pieces do really well and some of them just are really oversaturated, but I did get this one because it's a long line duster, which those perform really well for me. I actually listed this and it sold within two days for $36. So I do have to get this shipped out. If you find a piece from them and you think it looks nice, I would definitely Google lens it or look up the style number on eBay and see how it's performing because some of their pieces do really, really well and sell really quick and some just sit. Cabby is an expensive brand, brand new, but you do have to do a little extra extra research on it. So this is a brand called Grana, which I've never seen before or heard of. I looked it up just because it felt really nice and it's actually made of cotton and merino wool. And when I looked up sweaters from them, they were performing pretty well. They go for around 40 to $45. The style is definitely like neutral, minimalistic, and I'm gonna sell mine for around $40, hopefully. So I personally love whenever I find wooden ships. It is a very expensive brand. Originally this shirt or this sweater was $130. So their stuff is very high quality and expensive. It's normally made of really good materials too. So this one is made out of mohair and wool. And it's really cute. It has like this little star print on it. And I'm gonna list mine for about $50. I remember when I first started reselling, Hot Hippie was a really big brand to look for. It doesn't perform as well as it used to, but I did get this one because glitter and sparkles I noticed right now have been selling really well for me. And this is 90% wool, so a really great material too. And this should go for around maybe 40, max $45, but I think this should still do pretty well. I love to find Garnet Hill, and this one is even better because it's new with tags, which is always exciting. And it's this oversized knit top with a draped cowl neck. Garnet Hill is definitely known for like minimalistic and lag and look pieces, and they're also normally really high quality as well. And I should be able to get around $50 for this. So I do like to find Sundance, especially in their very bohemian pieces or their embroidered items. They perform really well. This one is just a really nice wrap over kind of faux wrap over knit top. I only picked this one up because I've actually sold this exact one two different times and I should be able to get $30 for this. I love to find items that I've already sold because it's really easy to just copy that listing and get that item up live really quick. I absolutely love this top. I think it's so beautiful and it's actually a vintage 90s piece. It's new with tags, which is even better. This is also made of silk, cotton, and cashmere, which is a really great material makeup. And I love the fact that the whole thing is just decked out in sequins. It's so beautiful. It also has these like little delicate bell sleeves. And I've noticed that anything with like sparkles or glitter, or anything like this is performing really well. And it's from the brand Spiegel, which kind of reminds me of like Smeagol. 
Um, so it's from the brand Spiegel, but I'm gonna list this for $70 and just a gorgeous top. I was really excited to find this one. I love whenever I find Icebreaker. It's a brand that performs really well and it kind of reminds me of like Smart Wool. They're both known for like outdoorsy wear and they're normally made out of really high quality merino wool, which this one was. This one is 100% merino wool. It's a men's large and it's this really nice striped t-shirt that's also a base layer. And I'm expecting to get around $45 for this. This is actually the second time I've ever found this brand and it's Robert Graham. This was a really great size. It's a men's 3XL. One thing that I have noticed about this brand is that they're known for the very bold and kind of out there prints. This one is pretty mellow compared to most of their other items. I don't think I will be able to get as much as those really out there kind of prints, but this should go for about $40, maybe 45. And this is a really nice button up shirt. It has this herringbone print along with like paisley and floral prints as well. Just really excited to find the brand and in a great size too. When it comes to Athleta, I am kind of steering away from most of their items, unless it's a very substantial piece or if it's a really great size, which this one was. This is a 1X and it's a really nice, just super stretchy, comfortable sweater. It also has a tulip hem to it and this should go for around 35, maybe $40. Right when I felt the sweater, I could tell that it was something high quality and it ended up being 100% cashmere and it's from the brand Land's End, which I don't look for that brand and I've never picked it up before, but I did get this because cashmere is very sought after and I will typically pick up anything if it's 100% cashmere and in great condition, which this one was. And this actually ended up selling the same day it was listed and it sold within a bundle for $85 with two other small items. I did have it priced for $40 and I feel like I could have gotten the full price for it as well, but I'm really happy to see it go so quickly. So another cabbie item, and this one is a really nice sweater. I love the fact that it's a cable knit, which I've talked about before, cable knits do really well. And it also has this really neat detailing on the back where it has like a lace up. I've actually sold this exact sweater before for $35 and that's why I grabbed this because I know that I can list this really quick and that it should sell for around the same price point as it did previously for me. Oh, this was a really great find. This is a button-up flannel shirt and it's 100% wool and the brand is Wool Rich and this is actually a vintage piece from them, which their vintage pieces do perform better than their current pieces is something I've noticed. And when I looked up their vintage flannel shirts that are 100% wool, they had over 100% sell-through rate and they were going for 90 to $120, which is awesome. So I'm really happy with this pickup. This is one of those brands that retails for a lot of money and it should resell for a good amount of money as well. But the only downside is, is that it likes to sit. So it'll probably take me a couple months in order to sell this shirt. And it's from the brand Rails. I do really like this one though. It's a really clean button up shirt. It also has these really unique and interesting cutouts on the side, which is a very trendy style right now, the cutout and openings. And when I looked up this exact style from Rails, it was performing really well and they were reselling for around 50 to $60. It's always a great day when I find Smart Wool, and this brand performs really well. This is a women's medium, and it has this pinstriping detail. The whole thing is wool, and it's this really nice base layer tee. I should be able to get around $50 for this. This is a really cool pickup, and I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the brand because I will definitely butcher it. I know that for a fact. As always, I'm gonna put the label on the screen. When I saw this, I knew I had to look it up because you don't see a shirt like this all the time. It is very unique. It's actually a 90s vintage piece. And anytime I see anything that's unique or different, I always look it up. This one was actually performing really well, this brand and this style of kind of like artsy graphic tee. And they were selling for around 45 to $55. And I love whenever I find pieces like this because there's only so many out there and so it makes them more sought after. Then on the new rack, I was able to find three Puma and Volition polo shirts, and these are really nice golf wear. They're also SPS 50, which I will put in my title and my description because that's something that people will seek out when they're looking for golfing shirts because you're out in the sun the whole time. And these won't go for a ton, but I'm thinking I could sell them each for $30 to $35. 
So this is actually a brand that I just recently discovered and the tag does not look like anything special. And when I even saw the tag, I didn't think like, oh, I should look this up. The only reason I did end up looking it up was because the two pairs of pants that I did find, I ended up keeping for myself. And then when I was home and I was like, oh, I should just look these up and see what this brand is because they felt really nice and they were really comfortable. The brand was performing really well. They were reselling for around $90 and they had over 100% sell through rate. That was months ago. And now I finally found another pair of pants from that brand and it's big dud press this one is their western pants these are so fun i love these i love the fact that it has like this multi-color striping on each side and it's also a size 1xl and so when i looked at this exact pair of pants from them and the sizing as well they were reselling for around 100 to 115 dollars so a really great find So this is another really great find, and this is from the brand Miss Me, which is a brand that I think they sell at the Buckle, but this is actually a vintage piece from them, which makes it even better and more desired. These are just really cool. They're a pair of camo cargo pants. They also have like floral embroidery on them, kind of jewels and embellishments as well. These are definitely very on trend with 90s and Y2K being popular. And these make me think Liz McGuire, Bratstall, and those are things that I will put in my keywords. This is a really great bread and butter item and it's a pair of jogger scrub pants and it's from the brand Figs, which is a really great medical scrub line to look out for. These actually end up selling for $23 the same day I had them listed. Then I was able to find these base layer tights and they are 100% wool and they're again from the brand Smart Wool, which I love whenever I find this brand. Like I said, it performs really well. And so well, in fact, these actually had four different holes that I did notice at the store and I still decided to pick them up because I have sold Smart Wool before with holes and it still sells really well. And these actually ended up selling within two days of listing them for $29, which I feel like really says something about the brand when people will still pick up items from them, even if they have flaws or holes. And I even made sure to post in the description and I also made like multiple different photos showing the flaws and like I said it's still sold within two days. So if you do find Smart Wall at the store and if it does have some holes or flaws if it's reasonably priced at the store I would still pick it up and just see how it goes. Then I moved to the men's section where I found these vintage Cabela pants, and these are actually really neat. They are quilted goose down puffer pants, which I've never found anything like this. And when I looked up comps, these pants were doing really well and they were selling for around $100. Mine does have a flaw in it though, so you can tell that there was a hole on it previously and then somebody mended it. But even with that flaw, I feel like I should be able to get around $90 for these. Then another really great men's item and brand to look out for is Peter Millar. I've only ever found it a few times, but whenever I do find it, it sells really well and for a good amount of money too. And these are just a really nice pair of khaki pants and even better, they are new with tags, which I always love to find. And it kind of blows my mind whenever I do find expensive items that are new with tags because I wanna know who buys this and then just donates it. Like you don't even wear it. That just is crazy to me. I'm expecting to get around 45 to 50 for these. So I love whenever I find multicolored striped items. Those perform really well for some reason. And I do like to put like rainbow in my title. And this is just a really cute summertime skirt. And I love that it has like the ruffling at the hem. And it's actually from Mod Cloth and it's a collaboration. It's a really great size too. It's a size 14 and I'm gonna price mine at $35. This was a really interesting skirt. It had floral embroidery on it. It also had multiple points of branding. So I knew that that was a great indicator that I should look it up. It was also this puffer outdoors kind of skirt and the brand is called Scoop. And when I looked it up, it had over 100% sell through rate and they were performing really well. So well, in fact, I listed this and it actually sold the same day within just two hours of having it listed for $60. I made sure to put keywords such as modest, snow skirt. I'm just really happy with the sale. I always love whenever find new brands. So anytime that I find overalls at the thrift store, I do typically like to pick them up. As long as they're not marked up too high, like they're reasonably priced or they're not skinny leg. I just noticed that skinny leg for me personally just don't move as well. I really like to pick up flare, wide leg, or straight leg preferably. These are actually from the brand Revolt and these are 90s vintage bib overalls. And overalls are really great to look out for because they're just a very sought after and desired item. So this dress is really pretty. I love the ruffling detail and the button down front. It also has this really cool print throughout it. 
and it's from the brand Ann Taylor. And I do actually like to pick up Ann Taylor, not Ann Taylor Loft. The Ann Taylor line is more expensive than the Loft line. And I think originally this was around $100. And when I looked up comps, I should be able to sell this for $40 to $45. It's just a really classic dress. And I feel like this will be perfect for summertime. So this dress is beautiful and the fact that it's a maxi length and also long sleeves adds value to it and it has this beautiful floral print throughout it and the brand is from Bowdoin which I love whenever I find their dresses and this one actually ended up selling the same day that I had it listed for, let me check, $65. Really great fast flip, just beyond blessed to find this one. So I've talked about J. Jill before and it's a really great bread and butter brand for me. This one is the Love Linen line, which is more expensive and more sought after. It also is new with tags, which we always love to see. This one was originally $119. And it's this beautiful linen maxi length dress with this plaid print. And I've actually sold this exact dress before. And so I'm hoping to get around 50 to $60 for this. I will probably have to wait for summertime, but I'm okay with that. All right, you guys, so I've gotten quite a few questions asking if I could show my office space and kind of like where I work throughout the day. And so I can do that right now. All right, so right when you come down my stairs, this is half of our basement, and this one is the unfinished half. The other half is finished, and it's kind of like a little living room and an extra bedroom. I used to work in a tiny little section in our garage, and now I have so much room for activities. I love it. This is where I take my pictures. I always have my lights just set up right here and then I just turn them. And this is where I put all my new inventory that I need to photograph and list. There's like a built-in desk and then all my supplies are all organized up here as well. And I do have this giant filing cabinet that the previous owners actually left here and I love it. <laughs> I use this thing all the time. I do all my shipping on it and I do all my processing and packaging and inventory on this. And I also use the giant drawers to store some of my shoes in. All right, so this is where I get all my work done for the most part. I have my inventory room over here. It's also my laundry room, don't look at that. <laughs> this is where I store all of my inventory. So this stores right now around 2,000 items and I do have an extra shelf that I'm gonna be putting in here um, later on this week, but this is what I'm working with right now. I do have some shipping to do and so whenever I do my shipping, I just pull this little whiteboard that I have and then I write down all the items that I need to go through and pick up. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna grab my little laundry basket to put all the stuff in. Right, so I need to grab a 164, or is that a nine? I can't even read my own writing. Oh, it was a nine. So this is actually a sweater from Kilronan and it's 100% merino wool. It's made in Ireland. And typically these sweaters do perform really well. This one didn't because it was an extra, extra small. It had multiple points of staining, which I didn't realize until I got home. So I only sold this one for $18, but I was just really happy to get it out of my inventory because I'd had it for so long. Then we have this beautiful dress from Stenay, and this is a really great vintage brand. This is also sequenced in 100% silk. It's honestly just a very beautiful dress. And when I saw it, it definitely reminded me of like a matador, but it's an 80s and 90s vintage. And I ended up selling this one for $40 on Poshmark. This one is actually a Looney Tune sweater. This was actually something that I picked up from Plato's Closet and they do like a 50% off sale, then a 60, 70, 80. And then at ours, they do a 90% off sale. And this was the first time that I had ever seen them do 100% off the clearance sales. I was actually one of the only people there first thing in the morning and I got quite a bit of stuff, but this was one of them. I definitely wouldn't pick this up at a regular thrift store and I ended up selling it for $10, but again, this was free. Then we have this J. Jill Wherever Collection cardigan. And this was like a nice long button up one. I had it priced at $25. Somebody sent me an offer for $21 and I gladly accepted that. And again, another beautiful vintage dress. This one has like embellishments, glitter all throughout it. It's from the brand Cachet. And I've talked about this vintage brand before. It performs really well. And I actually ended up selling this one for $55 pretty quickly. All right, so now we're looking for C221. There it is. This is actually part of a bundle. The 
purchases a Field and Flower Anthropology sweater top, and then you have a Banana Republic pair of pants. This was actually part of the Plato's Closet free clearance item, so this one was free. And then I have this other Anthropology skirt, and I sold this bundle on Poshmark for $50. This one is actually from All Saints and it's a merino wool sweater, it's a men's sweater. I could have sold this for more but it actually had some holes in it and so I was happy to sell it for $20 because I made profit and my money back. So I am happy with that. Again, don't be like me, make sure that you're checking your items before you bring them home. So again, another item that I got from that Play-Doh is 100% free sale, and this one is a 360 sweater. Again, not something that I would normally pick up, but I figured it was free, and this actually ended up selling within a bundle, so I'm gonna grab the other stuff for that too. So one of the items in the bundle is actually something that I just picked up recently, and it is this right here. It's Land's End. 100% cashmere sweater. I'm gonna add that to the bundle. So this is the bundle. I have this really beautiful fossil belt and then the 360 sweater from the Plato's Closet, again, free. And then this Land's End 100% cashmere sweater that I just recently picked up. And I ended up selling this bundle for $85. So after Poshmark fees, I made $68. Then I sold this Woolrich jacket, and this was really nice. It had like the plaid inner lining, and it was kind of like a rain jacket. It had the hood, and it was just in really great condition. I ended up selling this one on eBay for $40, and it sold really quick too, so I was really happy with the sale. This one was a nice Orvis sweater, and it was vintage. It was 100% Shetland wool, and it was just a really nice long line duster cardigan. I ended up selling this one pretty quickly. I would say I had this for about a month or two, and it sold for $38. So I do have some more items to pick up, but they're all gonna be over there, and most of them are brand new, so I do have to kind of package those up still. So I'm just gonna move this over into my work area. My office is so fancy. My trash can is literally a box that my padded flat rates were in. So yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to get the job done, right? So this is a pair of Manny B Espadrilles and you guys were with me when I found these. I did pick these up right when winter was starting, but I was pretty confident that I was gonna sell it once spring hit. It's not spring yet, but I still ended up selling these for $50. I just actually picked these up. I haven't even done a haul on these. These are a pair of Ariat work boots, and they are some nice Chelsea boots. They are steel-toed, and they are kind of used, but I still picked them up just because comps looked really good on them, and I'm happy I did, because like I said, these sold within a day for $50. All right, and then I also sold this Peep Studio. I ended up picking this one up just because of the style. It's vintage Y2K. It definitely looks like fairy or prairie core to me, which are things that I did put in my description and in my title. And this actually ended up selling on eBay for $39.99 the same day it was listed. I love picking up vintage pieces and style-based pickups right now. All right, so another item that I just picked up recently were these mother jeans. And these were just a skinny jean. They also have the button up fly, the frayed kind of tattered hem. And I ended up selling these ones for $45 within a day of having them listed. I could have sold them for more, but I was just happy to make the sale so quickly. So it's the next day and I'm gonna do my shipping again. And I was thinking for my um, videos in the future, I could record every single day that I ship out. And then every Sunday when I upload, I could have the whole week's worth, well, the previous week's worth of shipping. And that way you guys know what's selling. But if you guys prefer them being separate and just having a whole thrift with me video or a whole what sold video, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you like it all together, let me know that too. So the first sale is Seven for All Mankind Dojo Jeans, and I actually just featured these in my last Thrift With Me video, so these were new. I think I had them listed for about a week, and they ended up selling for full price for $89.99. And like I said in my last video, I heard some people saying that Dojo Jeans weren't a big bolo anymore, but these sold really quick, and for $90, that's a really good sale for me. Really happy that I found those and that they sold so quickly. 
The next item is this Eileen Fisher 100% Organic Linen Blazer, and this was a small petite, and so I was kind of nervous about it, but for the most part, whenever I find Eileen Fisher, if it's in good condition, I do pick it up. This was actually in my last Thrift With Me video, same with the Dojo jeans, and this jacket sold for $59.99 within a week of being listed. Another really great find from that haul. So I actually just picked this up and it's a Title IX tunic sweater. And I've said before, Title IX does really well. They're really known for the, like outdoors and athleisure kind of style. And this actually ended up selling for $50 within a couple days of being listed. So I really like this one. This one is from Jonathan Martin and it was new with tags. It's a vintage piece. The brand isn't anything special. I did pick this up a couple months ago and it was in one of my Thrift With Me videos. It ended up selling for, let me see for $36, which I'm happy about. The brand is not like a special brand. And I think brand new, this wasn't very expensive, but it's vintage, it's kind of on trend. It has the polka dots, ruffling, just a really classic piece and really grateful for this sale. And I know I say it in almost all my videos, but I just thoroughly am enjoying picking up style-based pickups and vintage pieces are performing really well. And it just makes it so thrifting is kind of more exciting and fun because I'm picking up items that I personally think are attractive and on trend and then it's really rewarding to see them actually sell. I'm sorry if I look down my computer's right here so I'm trying to get all my shipping information put in. What are you being silly? Oh no, don't eat it. Eat my papers. I've had people ask what printer I use and I use an HP NV7645 but it's actually a really old printer and my husband had this before we even got together and I think it's like 17 years old. So nothing fancy and I'm a firm believer that you don't have to have anything fancy in order to start reselling. Just use what you have. I have to reprint those because I messed up. <laughs> So now moving on to Poshmark, I sold this vintage dress from Ultra and I picked this up because I thought it was so cute. It was vintage 90s and it had embroidered fish throughout it and seaweed. It was just really fun and unique. It was also a linen and cotton blend, which two really great materials. And this actually ended up selling within two days for $36 from an offer to Liker. I actually just recently picked this up just a couple days ago. So really happy to see it go so fast. So another Eileen Fisher sale, and this one is a kind of tweed distressed knit zip up jacket. It's also a moto style. And I did have this one for a couple months and I was very excited to sell it for $40. Another recent pickup and it's these fry boots. And these were actually with the ultra dress and the title nine sweater. They were all in the same thrift haul. And these end up selling for, let me see for $55 within two days of being listed. And they're just some really nice zip up kind of moto style ankle booties. Really happy with the sale. <gasps> then we have this really cute Bowden tee. It's striped, it has like a Henley button up collar as well. And this ended up selling from an offer to Likers for $25. So I've talked about Garnet Hill and it is a brand that I do like to pick up, especially in size larger up. This one was a really cool oversized kind of poncho sweater. It was organic cotton and it sold for $40 within a month of having it listed. So this dress I have had for so long, I think I've had this for over a year now, and it's from an anthropology brand called Vanessa and Virginia. This was a really cute eyelet and embroidered dress, and I did sit on it, like I said, for about a year. So I was very happy to see it go for $28. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you think that I earned a like on this video or your subscription, I would really appreciate that. Either way, I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.